Cohabitation is written and directed by Lauren Barker. It premiered at the Twin Cities Film Festival in 2020 and then it went on to have a really successful festival run. The story is basically a thriller in which Emily, a PTSD survivor, welcomes in a new roommate called Sarah. As Emily struggles to get over a traumatic experience that forced her to quit her job, gruesome murders start happening around them and we discover that Sarah is not as cute and naive as she may seem initially. One of the things that you notice right away is that there are lots of scenes made in almost one take. It is one of those weird cases in which the actor's spontaneity makes up for some other performing hiccups. The camera work may fall into the conventional side of filmmaking in some aspects. All the shots are nicely framed and steady, getting full scope of the characters' interactions, making it clear for the audience what they're talking about and how they interact with the environment. Emily's trauma, the one that originated her PTSD, appears sporadically through flashbacks. This moment becomes key to the narrative, and we get to see pieces of it as the movie moves forward and the plot thickens. The PTSD that Emily experiences is represented not only through these flashbacks, but also through the lightning work and the soundtrack. An interesting way to portray how this feels for the character. The actual conflict takes quite some time to flesh out. I would say just the right amount of time for the audience to get to know the characters. Sarah is hands down the most interesting character of them all, as it usually happens whenever you have a villain in your story. Stephanie Rose Quinnell found just the right balance for the character. Although the inner logic seems to jump a few steps and some things seem a little rushed in order to keep the plot moving, Cohabitation is a solid film, supported by a strong female antagonist and a story that dares to talk about PTSD and how to regain control of your life working through the trauma. So I'm gonna give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you guys as always for watching. You can catch Cohabitation on Amazon Prime, Google Play and Tubi. So if you happen to see it, please feel free to return to this video and just drop a comment below. I will continue doing both English and Spanish reviews on my channel, so if you would like to subscribe, that would actually be awesome. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.